pretty good size. Uh, they're about three month old pigs. I was mighty careful about catching one of them. They must belong to somebody. I didn't want them to squeal on me. Well, I got one after a time. I slipped the bait under my arm and carried the hook. When I got back to Paul, he had the line down all right. He reached over, took the hook, gave the line a half hitch. I handed him the bait. Wait a minute, said Paul. We can't fish from the shore. It's too marshy. We'll have to build a raft. You just hold that pig a little while. You know, Paul built a raft in a split second. Then he reached over for the pig, carefully strung him onto the hook. We crawled out onto the raft, threw the hook out into the lake, and waited, and waited, and waited, and waited. Just about dark, we had a heck of a strike. The fish got hooked. He took right off for the Canadian shore. We stuck our heels in the raft and held on. All night we speeded around the lake. I saw Detroit three times that night. <laughs> Come morning, the fish went to the bottom. It was either tired or it sulked. We looked around, we saw that we were not far from shore. Oh, powerful sleepy, yawned Paul. I could use some shut eye myself. You know, Perry, said Paul, if I could get to the shore and tie up this fish, we could get some sleep. But we can't risk losing this fish after what we've been through. You stay on the raft just in case the fish starts to move before I reach the shore. You know, Paul jumped off in the Lake Huron. It was deep there. The water came up to his Mackinac. I was left with that fish. My knees played Annie Rooney. But Paul got to the shore all right. He tied the line to a big elm tree. I hand overhanded myself to the shore. We dropped down, we had a snooze. But you know, we'd plumb forgot about them Huron Indians. They were around. They picked where we slept to have a dance. I woke up with goose pinkles on goose pinkles. But Paul wasn't scared, not of the Indians. Paul looked over to me and he whispered, Perry, they're going to scare that fish. <laughs> sure enough, the next whoop, that line began to vibrate. Another whoop, that fish started right out for the Canadian shore. But the line held and the tree held. That fish pulled the tree and the earth with it right out into the lake. And that is how we happen to have a thumb on Michigan. Now 
out here, I wait until someone stirs his coffee with his thumb. Talk me into it. Plenty of good seats left on the dance floor.